Well, I started my apprenticeship when I was 17. And uh, my first day on the job, I, w I received a letter from the employer. Back then, that was the Victorian Railways. And we, we would report to Champion Road, Newport. And when I arrived at the workshops, there would have been about 2,000 kids. There was a man with a microphone, and I can remember him basically reading out the different types of occupations. There are four types of apprenticeships within rail. There is the, ele the basic one, which is the electrotechnology, electrician. Then you have the substation electrician, which is a higher qualification. There is uh, 500 substations scattered around the rail network in Melbourne. Substation electrician's job would be to do the maintenance of those substations and reactive work regarding faults and construction of any new substation that may be uh, erected. You come across a, uh, a rail crossing, and the train's coming and you get the red flashing lights and the boom gates come down. Well, a signal maintenance technician, that's his job, to make sure that that, that network is running efficiently, properly maintained, and any faults that occur, they're there to fix it. The power was given to the trains by a copper cable that runs about five feet above the train. The line worker's job is to maintain that network. They're all rewarding careers. Um, they all pay good money, um, and uh, you have a career at the end of it. Finish your apprenticeship, you've virtually got a job for life. If, if you want to become an apprentice in rail, the rail companies generically advertise from September, October, November of each year for an intake the following year in January or February. Well, if I was uh, ever um, coming back in this world, I'd uh, want to work in the rail system.